Hey guys, this is PMR Bones 88. And Saturday I went to the movies and guess what I saw? It's Thor The Dark World in 3D. And I'll tell you guys, this movie was awesome. It had more action and it still had comedy, but still it was like more of action and less of comedy. I like the first one. The first one was really much more of comedy than less of action. And it was a big disappointment and I'm not really a big fan of the Thor. I don't really read the Thor comic books that often, but I know him as um, Thor in the Avengers. So that's all I know about him. So the returning cast from the first one, they have returned and they had a new director named Alan Taylor. And the cast returned, Natalie Portman, Chris Hemsworth, that plays for Thor from the first Thor and the Avengers. Anthony Hopkins returned, Tom Hiddleston returned, play as Loki, and including Kat Dennings, which she's still a co comedian and I always know her. She always makes me laugh. Every scene she says or what she does always makes me laugh. So still the movie is good, but it still had like a little too much comedy-ish. But I should say the visual effects were very intense. They were very intense, they were really good. And the story plot, it starts out with um, one elf named uh, Malachi who seeks out the dark spore, well, wants the darkness to create the whole world turning into darkness. And it's up to Thor that he needs to stop him before he, when he creates the whole world into darkness. Bit of good surprising scene and there's a, there's one Marvel hero character, which I'm not going to say, and he's very, really familiar and that's where Loki turns into, like changes, like does shape shifts. So Natalie Portman returns to play as Jane Foster again. And with her character, um, she returns and she finally goes to Asgard where Thor lives and, and somehow she gets um she gets teleported into this um another different realm or another dimension, some sort of a somehow she gets infected by this dark spore and it's inside of her and if they don't get it out of her in time, sooner or later she will die. There are some scenes that kinda of put me to sleep, but then when the action comes, it keeps me wide awake, so it's a bit of up and down with um, there's just some scene that's like really kind of bores me and it puts me to sleep too much and I just want to fall, but when the action comes and all the big surprise me, I'm way wide awake, way wide awake. And there's a, a bit slight, there's a slight twist of Loki, there, there's something that he planned or something about him that we're not really sure. He does have a plan. He, there is something about Loki. Loki's really much more mischief and a lot more of anger and pain than he was in the first one and the Avengers. But he's not much more a little evil that he's coming out. Like there's like more evil darkness and hatred of his father. So there's a slight twist of this character and somebody in this movie does die. Someone very important. So not going to spoil anything. And also. If those of you are really interested have seen these, there's our, there are two ending scenes. Uh, the first, well, one ending scene which is the first half of the credit and then the rest of the second half of the credit ends. There's another scene and I'm not going to spoil it so if those of you are very inter interested have seen the two ending scenes, stay in the movies and watch it and you'll know what I'm talking about. And so just to rate this movie, I would have to give it a uh, 8 out of 10. It's really good. The action scene was really good. The visual effects were really intense. And Alan Taylor brought this movie to life. So intense to see how the Thor movie was really about. And it was really awesome. Just to see to make it as the, the dark world. I cannot wait till this movie to comes on Blu-ray and DVD. And also I saw two amazing Marvel trailers. Which was X-Men Days of Future Past. That movie looks so great. And I can't wait till it comes in theater so I'm really excited about this one and I also saw the five minute sneak peek of Captain America Winter Soldier that looked really intense too especially with the action scenes going on but you can only see the five minute sneak peek if you see it in 3D if you see it in regular D you're just gonna see it's the theatrical trailer and that's it so I recommend you guys to go see um, Thor The Dark World in 3D so the next time I will be um, going back to my superhero movie reviews. I made a superhero coverage and as you can see I made a new so this will kind of be like my second season or my second year of talking about all of my superhero movies that I'm going to review. And the next time I will be talking about is Iron Man 2.
And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off. His saying is, PEACE!